Hello amazing human beings, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new here, my name is Layla McDiva and today I'm back with another fashion video and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 best styling tips that I think every woman and girl should know about. So if you're interested, let's begin. First tip, invest in your lingerie. Lingerie is what your wardrobe should begin with. If you want to look good, you need to feel good. And I think that lingerie is definitely that part of your outfit that makes you as a woman feel yourself very sexy and confident. Knowing that you're wearing a perfect lingerie, that you're feeling yourself amazing in, is the very important first step in order to build your amazing wardrobe and create your amazing style. So never undervalue amazing lingerie and go ahead and invest in it. Now tip number two, speaking of lingerie, I think what you really need to know is that seamless underwear a lot of times is saving the outfit. Whenever you're wearing white or something see-through, you really don't want people to keep staring at your underwear. So for that reason, you should invest in a seamless underwear. You don't need to buy tons of it. You just can own as many as one or two underwear sets that are seamless in a very nudish color close to your skin tone of course and that way people won't even see that you're wearing underwear that is let's say red or bright pink or blue my tip number three show some skin and balance it with covering up. Now, for example, right now I'm wearing this top and I'm showing some skin, right? And of course it depends on your outfit and where you're going. If you're going for a night out, maybe you want to wear, you know, mini dress and show as much skin as possible, but usually you want to balance it out and that way you will look stylish and classy. My tip number four, know which silhouettes flatter you. Dress for your body type. This is especially important when following trends and I love following trends but I always think how will it look on me considering my body type and my personal preference. Let's say if low rise jeans are going to be back in fashion, I'm not going to jump on that bandwagon because I've been there, done that and I know it's not flattering for my body type at all because I have wide hips and I have some curves so of course for that matter mom jeans and high rise jeans will always be my ride or die. For that matter, I'm not gonna jump on the skinny jeans kind of 2000s trend when, you know, Britney Spears and Paris Hilton would wear jeans, low-rise jeans that look perfect on some girls but don't work for girls like me. And the same way you should find what your body type is, what works for you and what doesn't and not to follow trends that don't flatter your body type. My tip number five, use items not just as what they're supposed to be used as. I know this might sound confusing, but what I mean by that is what I actually showed you guys in one of my previous videos where I was styling spring summer 2020 trends, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link right here so you can go and check it out. And I was actually styling my dress as a top instead because I don't wanna buy a top if I already have a dress that can be used as a top, you know? So if you have a dress in your wardrobe, it doesn't mean that you can only wear it as a dress. Go ahead and use it as a top like I did. But don't look at your clothes just as what they were made to be used as. You can use them as so many different things and outfits. And also lingerie. Right now it's a super trendy thing to use your lingerie in your outfits. So yeah, it's supposed to not be shown, not to be on display, but if it works with current trends and you actually dig it, why not? My tip number six, don't underestimate the importance of your basic wardrobe. Now, this is something that I'm currently learning and I started doing that like a year ago, probably. I think for any girl, there comes this time in her life when she realizes it's time to build her wardrobe, to not overbuy, to invest in her clothes and not just to spontaneously buy things that she will never ever wear again and for me personally that moment came as I said a year or two ago so I think now I'm still building my basic wardrobe that's why in a lot of my whole videos you can see a lot of basic things such as 
black t-shirt, white shirt and I love those things because I know I'm gonna be able to style them with so many different items and I'm not saying to stop buying trendy pieces or statement pieces or colorful pieces but really you need to understand how important it is to have your basic clothes in your wardrobe with which you will be able to build amazing and stylish outfits. My styling tip number seven, repeat your outfits while changing the accessories. I'm definitely a proud outfit repeater but I just personally don't like looking the same all the time so I might change some things let's say my shoes or my bag or the necklace that I'm wearing or some other jewelry pieces and that way bring new vibe to the outfit or maybe to use different outerwear and therefore to kind of play with the outfit so don't be ashamed of repeating the outfit and not having enough clothes in your wardrobe because we all know there is never enough of clothes in your wardrobe but you can repeat your outfits while changing some pieces especially accessories that's why we need accessories that's why we should play with accessories tip number eight balance your outfit with your makeup so if you have bright makeup I would definitely recommend to you to style it with very neutral kind of outfit so for example right now I'm wearing you know this nude color and my makeup is more pink-ish nude-ish and in my personal opinion it works because I'm not wearing other bright colors and that way I'm balancing out my in a way bright makeup but also depends on what you consider bright makeup for me this is my regular makeup I just added more pink tones so therefore I usually prefer wearing this kind of makeup with more neutral colors white brown black but sometimes of course if you're going out you need your makeup and your whole outfit to be on point to be on flick and, and therefore of course there are instances when you need to be out there but usually I would recommend if you're wearing bright outfit then definitely go for neutral makeup and vice versa so that way you're still more fun and your outfit and your whole look is not as boring my tip number nine find your perfect heels for every season so that way you'll be able to create amazing and stylish outfits with zero effort so for example if you're like me lover of minimalistic outfits and you don't have a lot of time in the morning to create amazing outfits you can just wear something pretty basic like white shirt and black pants and then just put on some heels and voila you look amazing and it doesn't matter what season it is outside you should always have your perfect pair of heels that you can always wear with any type of outfit and if that day you really need to look special but as I said you have no time no inspiration no imagination to create amazing outfit your heels will definitely Definitely save the day. My tip number 10 and therefore my last tip for today's video is know which colors work for you and look great on you. Now this is something that I'm still learning and I personally just listen to my own instinct and if I feel like wearing this color I'm gonna wear it and if I don't like this color I'm not gonna buy it in the first place but I think that knowing which colors work for you and make you look and feel good is very important because a lot of it depends on your skin tone your hair your makeup colors are very important in any outfit and maybe that's why I really prefer neutrals because you can style them in so many different ways and they look amazing no matter what my hair color is because you guys know I love changing my hair color so therefore for me my neutrals are very important and when it comes to bright colors I love me some red I love me some pastel colors and I don't really like neon colors so I already know what I prefer and what I don't and what looks good on me and what doesn't so I think this tip is definitely a lifesaver for me personally so if you haven't used it yet definitely go for it try new colors stop wearing all the time only black because I know a lot of you girls love doing that including me but I'm really trying to put myself out there and I personally love white so that's good for me because I think it looks good on me <laughs> there are a lot of tests online actually helping you to find your colors 
that work for you so definitely give it a try if you personally don't know what looks good on you but if you already know and you have your set of colors that look perfect on you then you're a winner that's it for me for today I really hope these tips were helpful for you guys and if they were don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fashion videos from me don't forget to click that bell to get notified about my new videos leave a comment down below letting me know which tip you like the most and which one you're actually already using thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video i love you bye